Hi, Keaton. Uh, good evening. Thanks for your time. Uh, what did you learn about this team during the last month going from 0-5 to a four-game win streak? Yeah, you know, we're just – we're real resilient. And, you know, we found, we really came together. And we definitely got close as a team from it. And we were able to keep coming together and start playing some really good football. Tyler, go ahead again. Yeah, Keaton, uh, when you signed with this program and, and your first year here, it was all about 10, 11 wins. Do you, you think this had major adversity does something different for the team moving forward for, for young guys, for the older guys who are going to be back? I think it gives you a little bit more of an edge. You were, you were cutting out. Sorry, I couldn't, couldn't get the question. Yeah, so you, you signed with a team that's been winning 10, 11 games recently, and that was your first year. To deal with what you dealt with this year, do you think for the younger guys, for the older guys, this gives you kind of a different edge, something a little bit different for your mentality moving forward? Yeah, you know, you, you get that you get that taste of losing, and you don't want to get it again. So, you know, definitely, you know, for the, the next the guy, younger guys and, you know, you know, the guys that are coming back that you know, it's, you've got to be hungry. You know, you can't, you can't put hours on, on, on the board. So you got to get, you got to win. And so, you know, we tasted loss and we tasted victory and, you know, you know victory is sweet. So, you know, we just got to keep, keep uh, working hard and, you know, keep working hard and, you know, push it forward. Peter Terpstra. Hey, Keaton, uh, walk me through the interception and uh, what it feel like to get one. Yeah, it was sweet. You know, I you know, led the quarterback. Uh, you know, I seen the route and you know, I saw you overthrew it. You know, so I was you know, able to you know, break on it. And I didn't think I would make it, but you know, I got there and was able to you know, make a play on the ball and, and catch it. So, you know, I was just, I'm you know, really, really happy. I put in a lot of work. Um, and, you know, just excited to see some results. David Eckert. Um, is, is stopping another team's momentum, you know, after they had that big first quarter against you guys, is that something that a defense has to learn how to do? And if so, how does that happen? No, you know, we, we look at it as a mentality, you know, you know, you got to get your mind right, you know, put, put anything that's happened before that's negative in the past and, you know, we we turned we turned the tide and we start, we finally set it down and started playing you know really good defense again and you know think about the big plays and you know we really we found ourselves you know throughout the game and uh, we were able to hold them you know for, for very little. Tyler. Oh, Oh, my up again. All right. Uh, hey, Keaton, uh, the cornerback group has been really challenged by guys being sidelined almost every game now. I mean, how, how big was this year for the room? What did you prove about that room? Uh, you know, sometimes it was three guys available even. Yeah, you know, it's next minute mentality. You know, we got a group of a bunch of resilient guys, uh, you know, who you know, are hungry. And, you know, when the time comes, they, they, they got to step to the plate and, and, and play, you know, no matter – Who's in? Who's out? It doesn't matter. Whoever's out there has to, you know, you know, put their best out there and produce at the end of the day. Ben Jones. Keaton, when when football is fun for you, what's going on? What makes football fun? You know, just just flying around, you know, finding the ball too. That's what that's what makes it really fun, especially on defense. You know, reward your hard work, you know, by finding the ball. And, you know, just this game of football is just, it's, it's you know, physical. It's, it's, you have to be athletic, a bunch of athleticism. So, you know, once you get comfortable out there, which I, I am right now, you start flying around and you know, start enjoying yourself. It's, it's really, it's really a good feeling. Tyler? You know, I know your guys are keeping this under wraps for a little while longer, but if there is a bowl game ahead for this program, what would that extra game, what would that extra couple weeks of practice, time together, what would that mean for this group? Uh, I'd be happy to talk about the game. Well played. Any other questions, Tyler? Uh, let's talk about this game. Uh, Keaton, it was 21 points put up by uh, Illinois in the first, I think, in nine minutes, and then done the rest of the way. A bunch of punts. What what turned it around for, for your defense, and uh, you know, what do you think ultimately set you up for that success? You know, it was, you know, it was definitely our, our mentality. You know, we, we, were, we weren't playing 
you know, aggressive as fast as, as we have been. And, you know, we started to settle, we started to settle down and, and really start playing the defense that we, that we have been playing. Uh, and then, um, um, you know, they had a lot of great athletes that made a, that made you know, a couple of good plays. So, but we were able to, you know, shut them, shut them down the rest of the game. Then go ahead. Is, is it harder to not play or harder to be hurt and know that you couldn't even if you wanted to? You know, it's, it's harder, you know, when it's out of your control, it's, 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 it's bad, especially, you know, when you, you want to be out there, you want to help you, help your guys, you know, you do, do your part, and when you're not able to, it's, it's tough, it really is. Ben, if you have another question, go ahead. Okay. Tyler, another one? Yeah, Keaton, uh, you know, Tariq Castro-Fields not being able to get on the field for, for much of this season um, seemed like a potential big year for him. What was he like away from the games, uh, on the sideline during the games, uh, during practices? How did he still kind of show up as a, as a main guy in your room, even though he wasn't showing up on the field? Yeah, you know, he's a, he's a great leader in the room. You know, he... Uh, he put all of us under his wing, helped, helped us out a lot. You know, whatever, if we ever needed anything, he was always there. Uh, if we had, had a question, he's there to ask it. And you know, he's just been great in that, in that aspect. Uh, and, uh, I love him, respect him for it. Uh, you know, not being able to play sucks. So um, he just had a positive attitude through it all. And, uh, you know, he handled it really well. All right, last question, Michael Foreman, go ahead. Thanks, Matt. Hey, Keaton, I want to ask you about Brandon Smith since you, you're you looking at him every practice, every game in front of you. What's his transformation been like this season? Um, what he's gone through and how he's developed from your, you know, your particular interesting perspective. Yeah, you know, he's he's stepped up, you know, in a, in a huge way. Uh, he's playing a lot, a lot more aggressive. You know, we know we can hit. Uh, so he's been tackling really well. Uh, you know, he's he's a bright future. You know, I'm excited to see him keep growing and get even better. Uh, you know, we all have a bright future ahead of ourselves, so I'm, I'm excited for him. Thanks. Uh, Thanks since you just joined, we'll, yep, since you just joined, we'll do one last question. Tobias, go ahead. Okay. Um, I guess just walk me through what it means to you guys as a team to finish today's game the way you did after being down, but also finishing the season the way you did. Uh, this is this is a, it was a great game, you know. Uh, we've went like went through a lot of adversity throughout, and you know, just to, to get a win like this is awesome.